Hey guys, welcome to Rad Rob Gaming. I am your host, Rad Rob. We're starting our PJ Tour career in super beginning, like in the school or whatever. And uh, I have been practicing and I suck. I mean, I suck. I can't figure out the swing stick. I can use the buttons pretty well to chip and, you know, drive and chip and all that, but then. I can't putt that way, so I gotta like keep changing to like swing stick when it comes to putt. Without further ado, let's get into the coverage of this exciting event. Why does it sound like he's recording a Tim Can? Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, what's Jim Nance in this nerve wracking affair? Look, all the players in this field want one thing and one thing only, and that is their corn fairy tour card. It's a massive accomplishment. Let's see how this all shakes out. The top fifty on the leaderboard will get their card. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. All right. Good shot there, Beamer. Second shot here on the first. Oh, get in there. Oh, oh you suck. Shot that was right at it. <laughs> That's a good looking shot there. And good look at a birdie here. See, this is going to suck if I have to keep changing this, right? Like. Which was an easy way to just... Well, Rich, that's ideal. That's <clears throat> to start the day. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. And after I mean, I really, I suck at the swing stick. The I really do. Players looking to make four here. I'm just going to edit all this out, I guess. With a par five. All right. Oh, that was flushed. Playing from around two hundred and forty yards. Ninety five yards to the pin. Is it really ninety five yards to the pin? Why am I playing one hundred and sixty seven? Sixty ninety five to the pin. Is that what I'm reading? So this is where I'm having trouble. <clears throat> it's, it's 242 yards to the pin. Pin is over here. The wind's blowing that way. We're gonna try this and see what happens. Opting for the three wood. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. All right. Well, it looks like they tried to be bold there, Rich, but it didn't quite work out for them. Ooh. Came close with that chip. Just three feet to the cup. 
like this for back-to-back -back birdies. So far, so good. He's currently tied for third. Here we are at the third. Just one bunker surrounds the screen. A difficult part of three, to say the least. Right to the hole, huh? 200. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Putting for birdie. Wow, that's such a slope. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. You ah, think? That's frustrating. Putting for bogey. And down it goes. He's currently tied for fifth. The fourth of TPC Boston Rich. A great short par four players looking to make birdie or better the only difficulty is finding that front bunker that's when big numbers can be had for sure birdies galore that's the kind of strike that's going to make them come back every day of the week Second shot here on the fourth. A bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully he can change it here. This is what they have left for birdie here. Downhill, breaking left. It's tracking. Oh, that hurts. Pretty straightforward four footer coming up here. Yeah, you'll take that. Now fall back after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. From around 170 yards here, four strokes off the lead. Going with the six iron here. Get down. Stop. Yeah, that one will play. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place.
just didn't drop. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Trailing by four strokes. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Well played, mate. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston, is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Get down. Yeah, quality shot that already had a few birdies today another opportunity for another one let's take a look this punt to move into the top five on the leaderboard this one's dialed in well that'll play nice and that will take him to two under <laughs> Run it out. He's currently tied for fourth. Oh, looking to make a statement here. Going with driver off the tee. Par five, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. Put some hurt on that fucking ball. crushed. <clears throat> Second shot here on the seventh. Three wood. That's uh, a brave one. Driver off the deck. Where did that come from? That's not his style. Henny, do you have a better look at this lie? Looks like they have a bad lie here in the second cut. This is not sitting nicely. Way too hard. And from the green side rough here. Ooh, that almost went down. Fuck. Stop rolling. Stop fucking rolling. He has this putt to save his par. Uphill. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This is what they have left for bogey. Oh, shit. Not their best stroke. Seem to have pulled that one. Okay. Not good. Let's head to the next. And unfortunately, dropping back to level with the card. Time to play one of the one shotters. Par three, bunkers left and right. Not an easy par three, to say the least. Going with the five wood. Get down. Fuck. He didn't look to hit that one quite so flush. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. 
Get in there. Didn't that look good for a long time? This one just outside seven feet to the hole. Ooh. This is a bogey putt coming up. Not good. Trailing by six shots after that hole. We're going to just go with the buttons. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are That's really right. difficult to come by. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about... 145 yards. Good sounding strike, that one. Nice. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Chance to move up into the top 20 on the leaderboard. A good putt to make here. It's breaking right first and then breaking left. Ah! The hole. Putting for par. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Let's see what happens here at the 10th hole. Par 4, this hole plays so much more difficult than the yardage. Water to the left of the green, bunkers surrounding it on both sides. Find the fairway, you'll have a good look at making birdie. You miss the fairway, good luck. Fours, fives, and sixes come into the equation. <laughs> Nicely done. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? And from about 105 yards. That's this good. one is all over it. Nice. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the 10th. This putt, a chance to move inside the top 20 on the leaderboard. And with that now, nice. that's a level par. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Par three measures 231 yards to the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as Holy pars shit. can be as well. That was way too hard. Well, it's found the surface, but that's about as much as you can say about it. A spot in the top ten awaits if they can make this putt. Ah, stop, 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 stop. Ah, I'm so fucked. So oh, fucked. Oh, he's up, Tiger. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 20 feet from the cup. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, just missed. Right on four feet. Should make this one. And that's for a bogey. Damn it. Now six strokes back after that hole. Let's head to the 12th hole. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. That drive, heading straight towards the cut stuff. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. This looks to be heading to the green. Get down. Oh, really had that shot dialed in. Outstanding approach shot. Three feet to go here to the hole. Little birdie look in here. That's the way to bounce back. Good way to make up for the bogey at the last. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. <sighs> T shot 
up the hill to a blind landing area. Second shot is to a green that is surrounded by a cavern of bunkers. If you miss all those and find the green in two, then you'll have a decent look at a birdie three. That's some good golf right there. Playing from around 150 yards here. Five shots off the lead. And choosing the eight iron here. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Gee, I think they've got the handle of this game, Rich. Fairways and greens. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Par four, sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging hole. Oh, great swing there. Crushed it. The 14th hole at TPC Boston is a par five for the locals. A converted par four for the tournament, Rich, and it's a strong second shot down the hill. Second shot, very narrow opening to this green. If you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. Man, it's still too hard. Shit. That's a tad wayward. Not quite finding the surface. And what a rare miss today. They've been so good with their approach shots. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Now four back after that hole. We have Game a par three. four on this one. Par four, 421 yards. A lot of Let fun rip. can be had here, but be careful of the green. It'll get you if you're not careful. Nicely done. Henny, what's the player facing here? This is looking around 115 yards out. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Oh. Not where I wanted it. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Belly has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And that putt drops. Now one under, heading to the stretch. Yeah. We're going to make the cut. On the 16th hole. Par three. Mm. I don't need to mention the one on the left-hand side. It speaks for itself. I just want to get it there. Opting for the six iron. This is a good time to get hot with the tournament on the line. Oh, well played. Into birdie range here at the 16th. 11 feet to the cup. This one's online. <sighs> it was a good line. Bitch. Coming for a par now. He's currently tied for 10th. Now at the 17th hole. Severe dog leg from right to left. Second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. Perfect. Good shot there. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Well, what a wonderful shot into the 17th. It sets up another putt inside birdie range. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. Like it. And with it, he'll move to a couple under. Final pass. hole. 
Of there all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel the TPC Bolster can be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and Eagles have been made before. Two seventy nine to the pin, huh? Get away from there, get away from there. Bounce left. I tried. They found the sand here. A little bit too hard. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. And this part for a final score of 68. Oh, way too hard. To Holy shit. I didn't realize that was... Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And he's down there. You got a read? This one will run uphill. Zooming past the hole. On the last hole, dude, I choose to fuck this up, right? Unbelievable, dude. One fucking hole. And this putt for a final score of 71. <sighs> yep, tracking well. And with that, this Unbelievable. will finish the Q School final and gain a ticket to the Corn Ferry Tour next season. Congratulations to them. Rich and I will certainly be following their career with great interest. Absolutely, Luke. They have locked down their Corn Ferry Tour card. Keep your eye on this player. They're going places. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. God, that sucked. Nice. God, that last hole, that sucked. That sucked. We're on the tour. Won three events to instantly advance the PJ Tour. Finished the season top 25 rankings to advance to the PJ Tour. Finished the season in the top 75. <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to keep it the same. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. On the next one, we're going to do our first tournament on the Corn Ferry Tour. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support. See you next one. Take care.